welcome back to talk with naya so let's get right into it so it looks like beyonce's texas hold em song goes number one on billboard hot 100 so congratulations to beyonce we just talked about how it was in the top 10 and now it went number one so who would have thought beyonce would have gotten number one on a country song i think it's reaching a wider audience and honestly the song isn't bad so congratulations to her now speaking of the Knowles family solange actually got some backlash over asking one of her workers it looks like to move her braids back for her while she was walking it looks like she was going to an event a lot of people felt like she could have moved her own damn braids okay and that she was doing the most but listen if solange hired that woman to move her braids and she pays her to move her braids then hell i guess she just did her damn job but on the outside looking in it's looking like solange attempted to move her braids and was like oh i have the help for that girl snap my fingers move my braids back so i can walk into this event i was shocked to see it and I think so much of us are like, we just don't have access into their worlds. Like, we don't have these people moving our hair, fixing our hair, doing our hair, makeup, outfits, stylists, people just around us to make sure that we're always put together. So to us, it's going to look like, whoa, you're doing the most. You could have moved your braids. But I'm sure everybody who Solange is friends with, as far as celebrities, they probably are people that do the same thing and, and then some. So I don't know. It depends on how you want to look at it. Now let's move on. So Sweetie had to address some haters online after releasing some new music. It looks like people were calling her music mid and that she's just a pretty face, that she just looks good. But Sweetie actually took the time to clap back and said, Y'all support a lot of mid music. Maybe I'll fit in. Now, Sweetie did have a point with that. There's a lot of mid music. There's a lot of trash music in the female rapper lane in general. Okay. And then, and in other lanes. And people do be rocking with some trash songs. So I do think she had a point with that. Okay. I think people just have higher expectations for Sweetie because at some point she did have like hit songs that people really messed with. But then people always criticized her because she was always using the sample. So I don't know. People are also saying her new boyfriend, YG, are writing her lyrics right now. So I don't know. Someone else says, sweetie, give me. She don't know what to do with herself. I feel like she just coasting by. And then sweetie said, I don't know. Y'all give me. I don't know what to say when there's nothing bad to say. I feel like y'all just be making shit up. Now, let me know what y'all think about sweetie's newer music. How y'all feel about her career in general. We have talked about it quite a bit on the channel and i do think that things kind of took a turn for her once she and quavo broke up i do think he probably was writing her music and i think things went you know left when she left him musically and i also think when her performances were terrible that also hurt her as well but like i said before i'll always check out her new music and i definitely would want to see sweetie with like a hit you know now sweetie does get a lot of backlash but we'll see what happens you know now moving on it looks like drake wants tory lanes out of jail he put a post up of tory lanes okay so we continue to see who doesn't mess with megan and who is in support of tory lanes so do y'all think that tory lanes is going to get out of jail early i don't know we'll see now lastly i did want to talk about kanye west he's still at it with adidas listen to this let me explain really clear to you guys what's happening with adidas is not only are they putting out fake colorways that are non-approved, they're suing me for $250 million, and they're also not paying me for these shoes that they're putting out that have my name on it. And they're using contract clauses and 50 years of business experience to rape an artist. So he doesn't want his fans to purchase Yeezys anymore due to the conflict that he's having with Adidas, okay? And he's like, anybody who loves Ye would not buy these fake Yeezys. I never made these colorways. I'm not getting paid off of them and Adidas is suing me. All these celebrities and the public will stand against a t-shirt or the color of my hat. But when y'all see me have my children hidden from me or see an actual Fortune 500 company rate one of your heroes in real life, don't nobody say nothing or do nothing. As far as the system goes, what y'all gonna do now? Take my album down again? Freeze my accounts again? Threaten people to not work with me again? All the new non-approved 350s are corny and everybody know the 350 been corny. Okay, so yeah, he don't want us to buy these shoes and I do have a few pair myself. So let me know, are y'all going to be buying Yeezys 
or are y'all not all right that's all i got let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments and i'll see you in the next one bye